evolution of Puss in Boots. In the 1922 black and white silent short of the same name, Puss in Boots in a split from the original story, helps the young boy win the heart of the princess by enlisting him in a bullfight. In the 1961 Mexican movie of the same name, Puss is portrayed by Santanon, who was covered entirely by a furred cat costume, which was adorned with a feathered hat, vest, pants, and a sword. The plot follows a king who is forced to give his daughter to an ogre, but a fairy gives a peasant boy a pair of boots, who puts them on his cat, which becomes human-sized and leads the boy to fight the ogre. Puss makes an appearance as a famous ogre assassin in the 2004 movie Shrek 2, where he is initially hired by King Harold to kill Shrek. He encounters Shrek and his sidekick, Donkey, and unsuccessfully attacks Shrek. Puss informs Shrek about the reason for his attack and begs for mercy. Because Shrek saves his life, Puss agrees to join him and become his companion. Throughout the movie, Puss assists Shrek in obtaining a potion that transforms Shriek and his bride, Princess Fiona, into humans, assaults a bunch of guards in order to buy Shriek time to save Fiona, and befriends Shriek and Donkey. At the end of the movie, Puss and Donkey perform a duet. He is voiced by Antonio Banderas in the Shrek franchise. In the 2004 short movie, Far, Far Away Idol, Puss is singing a part of the song, These Boots Are Made For Walking. In the 2007 movie Shrek the Third, Puss travels with Shrek and Donkey to bring Fiona's cousin, Arthur, to the far, far away kingdom to become the next king. But throughout their adventure, Puss offers Shrek guidance. Puss in Boots then switches bodies with Donkey via a teleportation spell. After some adjustment to their new bodies, Puss and Donkey join forces in the war against Prince Charming to protect Shrek, and they persuade Arthur that he is intended to be king. Puss and Donkey reclaim their bodies, and in an end-of-movie ellipsis, Puss and other characters look after Shrek and Fiona's children. In the 2007 TV special, Shrek the Halls, Puss is going with other characters to Shrek's home to celebrate Christmas and tell a Christmas story. Puss in Boots makes a cameo appearance in the 2008 movie, Shrek the Musical, during the travel song scene. Puss appears as a regular guest at Shrek's home in the 2010 movie Shrek Forever After, at the beginning of which he attends the first birthday party of Shrek and Fiona's children, telling the children the tale of how Shrek met Fiona. Rumpelstiltskin, the film's antagonist, constructed an alternate universe in which the cat has gained weight and is Fiona's pet after his retirement. Puss becomes Shrek's friend after he realizes Shrek and Fiona are in love. Puss and Donkey save Shrek and Fiona when Rumpelstiltskin captures them and the other ogres in this universe. Puss plays a critical role in the later battle against Rumpelstiltskin and his allies. Shrek returns to the real universe, where Puss, as his usual self, attends the birthday party among the other characters. In the 2010 TV special Scared Shrekless, Puss is participating in a storytelling contest to frighten Shrek on Halloween. He tells a story with Donkey, but they cannot agree on its version. Puss also appears in the 2010 short movie Donkey's Caroling Christmas Tacular, singing his version of the song Feliz Navidad. In the 2011 movie of the same name, after Puss was abandoned when he was little, he is adopted by Imelda, the caretaker of the orphanage. Here, Puss becomes friends with Humpty Alexander Dumpty, who gives him the name Puss, and they become brothers in heart with a dream, to find the magic beans that would bring them to the golden goose, who lays golden eggs. He and Humpty were in and out of trouble throughout their childhood, stealing various beans in their quest for the magical beans, until one day, Puss committed a heroic act for which he was praised and given his boots. When Puss's connection with Humpty frays because he no longer wants to steal, Humpty convinces him into assisting him in a bank robbery, and Puss is labeled an outlaw and flees San Ricardo. Years later, he learns who owns the magic beans and plans to steal them. He teams up with Humpty's partner, Kitty, and again with his old friend, and they set out in search of the eggs of the fabled golden goose to clear his name, restore his lost honor, and regain the trust of his mother and town. Puss is present in the 2011 short movie Thriller Night, in which a zombie version of him is shown. In the 2012 short movie, Puss in Boots, the three Diablos, 
Puss is training three kittens and leading them to the right path. Puss in Boots appears as the protagonist in the Netflix series, The Adventures of Puss in Boots, protecting the Spanish town of San Lorenzo from intruders after accidentally breaking the spell that was meant to defend it. In this TV show, he is voiced by Eric Baza. In the TV series All Hail King Julian of the Madagascar franchise, Puss makes a cameo appearance a few times. He first appears as a picture in the episode Love Gauntlet, as one of the images Dr. S shows Maurice in his presentation to help him get over his fear of bells. His first physical appearance is in the episode King Julian Superstar, where he is seen auditioning for the new wiper fluid. In the 2017 interactive movie, Puss in Book, trapped in an epic tale, he, while out fighting off ninja pirates, stumbles on a fairy tale book. When he opens it, the adventure begins as the viewer must choose each outcome, eventually freeing Puss from the book. Puss is once again the title character and protagonist in the 2022 movie Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, which is a sequel to the 2011 movie. In this movie, having used eight of his nine lives, Puss begins a journey to find the fabled wishing star and use it to restore his lost lives. In the 2023 movie, the trident, Puss in Boots, also voiced by Eric Bauza, tells Perito a story about one of his deaths with encouragement from Kitty Softpaws. In the 2023 action comedy movie Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, Puss in Boots makes a cameo appearance as a plushie in the first few minutes of the movie.